how to repair a <coughs> leaking drain hose from a Fisher & Paykel dishwasher. Um, this particular model is a DD603. It's actually quite old. It's probably more than 15 years. They are a mechanical pain, but they are great because you get two dishwashers. But I've learned to repair and replace almost every part on here. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is that um, there's this cool feature here if you haven't already learned. Turn it off, press the start and the lock, let it go for five seconds. When it does this, now you can press the power button and then press start, pause, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This P2 mode will drain the dishwasher. Uh, occasionally you'll get water in the dishwashers. And uh, it was when I was draining the dishwasher by pressing lock, it was when I was draining it, I realized that it was leaking seriously because I was getting water coming from down here, underneath here. Um, and it's a good thing I, I noticed that because the leak is small initially, but it, it'll, it'll definitely get bigger. So um, let me show you how to take off the front of the dish drawer, first of all. So there's two pins here. You're gonna take these pins out. These pins look like this. You just grab them with needle those pliers and pull them out. Then you're gonna, it's a little bit tricky, but you're gonna pull off the front face. So the, basically you're gonna pull down, okay, and then out. And I've already disconnected. There's a little uh, tab there for uh, grounding. Next up is you're going to move, remove this bottom cover here, put a screwdriver into the left and right there. Same thing here. Okay, that's the first part. Now we got to go underneath. Okay, as you can well imagine, this is not the most comfortable place to work in. I re recommend you put goggles on if, uh, because there's water in here. You don't want to be getting that into your eyes. Pop that one there. Another one down here. Okay, and then the third one's up here. This one's loose, so it already came off. Then it's a little bit tricky. Back here, there's two tabs. Again, it's already been loosened. But there's two tabs here and here that you have to pull back on to get this bottom plate removed. Okay, this is a very tricky angle. I'm coming underneath, looking towards the back, and I'm gonna pull this drawer out, and then I'm gonna pull these cables out here. Now, I've already temporarily patched this here, um, but the problem is that this cable right here bends at 90 degrees. Every time you open and close the drawer, this is where the water goes out, and it puts a lot of strain on this connection and eventually it will start leaking. It, it'll start leaking on the top side. Well, actually it could be at the top of the bottom and it'll leak a little bit. Uh, eventually it's gonna break and that'll be a real gusher. But fortunately I caught it while it was still just a little bit. I put this clamp on here, but then I realized, I'll show you the video of what happens when you open and close the drawer. It's gonna put a lot of strain on this clamp here. So while this will work in the short term, um, instead, what I'm going to do is I noticed that um, the hose in this area here is all protected. It's, it's not moving. So what I want to do is move this patch into this area here and pull this hose farther out here. And I've actually got spare hose to do that. I just got to pull it through. But let me, let me, um, I'll insert the video of how the bending works. So in order to remove, uh, the next step is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove this entire drawer off of the dish, dish drawer. Uh, in order to remove that, I need to do three things. We have to disconnect the input. The water comes into the dish drawer right here. Careful, don't pinch your fingers in here. That'll hurt. Okay, some water. Make sure you get that. That's number one. Then number two is all these white wires here need to be disconnected. And these have little 
Google Plus is gently wiggle them out. Okay, it's just one bus here. And you're also gonna need to undo that there. And then the rest we need to do from underneath. Okay, so working from the front back, we're gonna have to remove this. Get all these wires out of here. Just the white ones. The others are part of the drawer itself. Easier said than done. Okay, so we got all these wires out of here. Gotta get all those wires out of there. Okay, so this whole section is free except for this grounding clip. Okay, so the grounding clip is free. Oh, looks forgot. I gotta get this green wire out of here as well. Okay, so that's free. Second wire. First, let me grab my towel and grab. So this is the inlet. So that is now free. So that's number two. Okay, last one is the drain hose. All right, so this has a little barbed fitting on it. Uh, I'm gonna use both <laughs> two hands here. Use needle those pliers to squish this in. And then, use a screwdriver to pry this out. I think actually it's less important to use the needle nose than it is. Get some force on this. There's an O-ring on here, so it's gonna be a little bit hesitant to come out. And when it does come out, it's gonna dump water on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was a little bit more exciting than I wanted. Uh, be prepared for a couple of cups of water. So there's this interesting uh, one-way flapper on this here uh, that keeps water, I guess, from rushing back into the dishwasher. So don't let that get lost. Uh, and you can see there's an O-ring, an O-ring right there around it. Okay, so this is, this is the, the last of the three connectors and now I can take the dishwasher off of its rollers. Now I've got a stool here. There's these three, there, I mean, so there's, there's these two rollers right here. Oh, there's a little kind of a pin, push, so it'll slide back. Push, slide them back. Now, you can just lift up the drawer. And gently, actually, you know what, I'm gonna set it down on its side because now I don't have a bottom plate. Don't wanna risk damaging anything. Now, without the dish drawer in the way, you should be able to get a lot better view, so it's gonna be attached like somewhere here in the middle. It's gonna slide back all the way back there and then come back out here. By the way, um, early models, this there's a rod, a plastic rod here, and this plastic rod would crack. I put a, a reinforcing around it. The later models have a metal bar here, so that's not gonna crack. But yeah, this, this hose right here has to bend at 90 degrees each and every time. You know, it actually doesn't look like this is gonna be such a bad solution here. Maybe, maybe I won't do this. But there's definitely gonna be some, uh, some uh, movement in that joint right there. Okay, so uh, first thing I did was removed the clamp in back here. It comes in from this side, so if you just put your screwdriver right in here, that'll free that up. Uh, the problem is that it's still not moving, so we have to go downstairs. And in order to do that, I removed, same process, I removed the front, pushed the rails back, pulled this drawer over to the side, so I didn't have to completely remove the drawer. 
but it's... All right, now we're back here. These clamp in. Both sides, I believe. There's one side. It's actually... Okay, for this next step, you're absolutely gonna need to turn off the power if you haven't already. You're gonna insert a screwdriver in here, slide this whole plate over. This exposes a lot of live wires, which is why you need to have that power off. Okay, now with all of that exposed, now you can pull this hose pretty easily. So now that I've got slack back there, I can undo these clips here. Now I can get extra room on this hose, and now I can move this patch further down to where uh, it's not going to be bending all the time. But I'm actually wondering about replacing the entire hose, so I'm going to experiment a little bit more with that. So I determined that replacement of the hose was going to be extremely problematic because of how the hose was routed through my cabinets. So I'm going to repair it again. Um, so I reinstalled the broken piece here, and you can see, oh, just, just off the edge there, you can see this is where it broke, right where it hinges the most. So I don't want to fix it there. I want to fix it right here where it's got lots of space and it's protected. So I'm going to cut it right in here. That'll give me room to put this brace right along that area there. Okay, so I'm about to do the repair and I've got a double system now. I went out and I got a one half inch barbed pipe uh, barbed on both ends, so I've inserted that in the inner diameter here, and then I've got that larger pipe on the outer diameter, and I'm going to use some um, silicone as well to act as a uh, sealant as well, and although I know that it's not necessary, but hey, why not? And then I'm going to put some uh, pipe clamps on the outside as well, so I think that should be a really tight fit. Okay, so here's the completed repair. It's a bit messy, unfortunately, like clear silicone didn't work, so I had to use some white. And uh, I've got two pipe clamps on there. That barbed fitting is super tight. I probably don't need anything but the barbed fitting, but uh, I've got extra protection there. So I was a little worried it would fit, but actually there was no problem fitting in there. And then I've got all my wires routed back through. You have to connect, reconnect this here, as well as on the front panel. Got to run this supply line up here. Okay, this is the sound of the dishwasher draining. So water's being pumped through this right now. Nice humming. And no leaks. So that's exactly what we were hoping for. So you can either replace your hose this way, or you can repair it. a replacement be careful, make sure that you can actually route the hose. My hose has been routed through some crazy places in the cabinets. I don't think I was going to be able to fish it through again, but it's neither repair or replace. And that should give you many more years of service.